nobody criticizing you, if you had nobody kind of like telling you what to do, if you had a um, free life, completely free life, you didn't have to pay taxes, you didn't have to do like um, money making activities, you wouldn't have to pay rent, and you were just kind of like chilling in nature, you're doing all the things that you know um, animals do in nature. You have no kind of human pressure to do anything, but with the uh, while keeping all the technical advancements and all your possessions and everything, right? And when you have complete freedom to do whatever you want with your life, what would you do? This question today I want to ask you because so many times we feel restricted by life, right? Ah, oh, I would totally do this, but then I'm blocked by this. Ah, oh, I would totally do that, but I have reality to work with. Oh, I would totally want to do this, but then, you know, like, I can't do that because of XYZ, right? So, we always kind of block our lives from happening for all these different reasons. And it seems like those reasons are external. Like the government, and the IRS, and my parents, and my boss, and my, you know, spouse, and my friends. All these things, external things, they seem to get in the way of our free life and free happiness. But the side effect of that is because we're so used to being blocked and contained and pressed down into this isolation chamber, we start to stop asking ourselves, what do we want to do with our lives? So a lot of the work that uh, clients do with me is defining the life that we want to live, right? I, I, I want to be a traveler of the world. I want to visit all these different places and I want to live there. If you have something like that, then it's good, right? Because now we can work on, okay, so what's preventing you from living like that? Well, I have all these responsibilities and then now we tackle what that responsibility looks like, who's imposing it, and um, what does it mean when those responsibilities are not satisfied, and what's, key, what's the benefit of keeping that responsibility. But anyway, we deal with that layer, right? Okay, so now we give ourselves freedom to uh, be whoever we want, even with that responsibility. And then what? So now, can you go travel the world? Are you gonna book tickets today? And then people are gonna, no, but I mean, well, but what about this? And then, so it's a repetition of that process, right? We layer by layer by layer, we just peel it off. All the reasons why we can't be uh, living the life that we want to. And you know what? By the end of um, the coaching experience with me, you kind of like, I don't even nudge you, but you suddenly find yourself like making plans and uh, booking flights to places. And that's a wonderful thing I love to experience over and over with my clients. But the other half of the time, you don't know what kind of life you're allowed to live because you're so used to being tamed by society, by family, by culture, by, you know, of gender, by all these constructs that you forgot what it means to dream, what it means to think of the life that you want to live in the first place. Oh, I want financial freedom. Why? What would that do for you? And that answer takes time to search because the question, I mean, the, the importance of financial freedom has always just been on top, but all the reasons were just like kind of forgotten over time. And those reasons start being the driver of your life. You have to make money. And, and then what? You have to be fit. You have to lose weight. And then what? What comes after that? And the more time you spend not being conscious about your life, the more your like genuine desire for life just kind of wilts away because it's like a neglected house plant. 
But when you really sit down and think about it and contemplate, what kind of a life do I want to live? You will suddenly find yourself just completely overridden with emotions. Emotions of life itself. Wanting to express it from within. You will find that you really, you really do want to live a life. Not just breathing. You really want to live a life. Doing things, making relationships, getting hurt, taking risks, falling, standing up again, being in triumph of something, being sad because of the loss of something. You want to experience that. And that losing touch with that part of you, that wants, is I think what makes people cry the most in coaching sessions. And it's a mix of tears of joy, tears of happiness, and tears with profound grief and sadness for all the time that you lost. And I want you to remind yourself today, you're alive. Yes, there are responsibilities. Yes, there are bills to pay. Yes, there are things we have to do for upkeep of like a socially responsible person. But beyond that, I don't want you to lose touch with yourself. Aside from the responsible citizen, aside from the good spouse, aside from the good mom, good dad, aside from the good student, aside from the good child, aside from the good, all these roles you have to fulfill, there's one you left after you peel away all the layers. And I don't want you to lose connection to that you. 